All right, my dudes, I think I found you guys a nice little ditty of a plugin that I think you're going to really enjoy. But before I get into all that, make sure you guys let me know what you guys think of this LUT on my webcam right now. The people that joined me on my live stream last week didn't exactly like it, but I want to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section down below. So the plugin that I want to show you guys today will automatically update your better chat prefix next to the player's name, depending on where they are on the map. So if they're in the forest, it's going to say forest next to their name. And if they happen to be in the snow biome, it's going to say snow next to their name. And that's going to be written in white. All all of which can be configured inside the configuration file. We're going to get into all of that in just one second. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do plugin reviews, tutorials, plus I want to show you all of the different tools that you can use to help you be even more successful while operating your Rust server. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. All right, so the plugin that I want to show you today is Biome Chat Prefix, and it's written by Enforcer. It's available from mod i'll put a link to it in the video description down below now a lot of you might be wondering why i would be showing you a plugin like this well it's because i happen to be scrolling through on the list of the most recently updated plugins and this one came up now this plugin hasn't been touched for quite some time but when i was looking into it i found out that a lot of people actually used it so when i realized that it was recently updated i thought i better show it to you guys and it's a good thing that i did because i realized there's a couple of complications with it that i need to tell you guys about so if you go to the documentation page for biome chat prefix you're going to notice a couple of things right away it says that it works with better chat but it actually depends on better chat so you don't have a choice you have to have better chat running on your server in order for biome chat prefix to work the second thing that you're going to notice about the documentation page is that it actually doesn't say anything about permissions when in fact there are permissions required to use this plugin but we're going to get into all of that once we actually get in game but before we can do that there is actually a third complication that i need to tell you about so depending on when you check out this plugin for your own server you're going to notice Notice something that's going to look a little bit different or you might potentially notice a difference it depends on when this problem actually gets fixed so when you download it from the umod website it's going to download to your computer as chat biome prefix but the actual plugin name is biome chat prefix so if you do happen to download it to your computer before you install it into your server and it's called chat biome prefix you just simply need to rename that file so that it says biome chat prefix i don't know if you guys can see this on my screen or not but this is what the error is going to look like if you end end up with the wrong version of this plugin. It's going to say this is the name of the plugin that we installed, but we were expecting this one right here, Biome Chat Prefix. So just make sure you've done the renaming of that file properly. Hopefully this will be resolved before anybody even notices that this is an issue, but I did want to tell you all about it. And because I did actually notify the guys over at Umod that there was that slight little issue with the plugin name, Wolf has actually marked this plugin as broken. It's not broken. It works fine. I'm testing it right now. You guys are going to see it in a couple of minutes. You just just have to deal with that file name change. That's it. Another thing that's not addressed in the documentation on the UMOD site is the fact that this plugin does actually have a permission associated with it. So of course we need to deal with that before we can actually see what this plugin does. And because I want everyone to be able to utilize this plugin or visualize what this plugin is actually doing, I'm going to actually be granting this permission to the group called default. All right, so two really quick updates for you. First of all, OBS had a total conniption fit and I lost half my recording. So now I'm back redoing that section of this video. So if it seems a little bit choppy and a little bit broken up, that's why. Secondly, while I was actually recording this video, I was also communicating with Wolf about the issues that I found with this plugin. He has since gone in and changed everything that I just talked about for the last minute and a half and everything is fine. So the name is fine and the permissions are all in the documentation. So let's start up again where I left off. So we're dealing with permissions. Let's open up permissions manager. We want to do slash perms group default, providing of course you're using the permissions manager plugin that I show you guys in all of my videos and of course we go into biome chat prefix and we just want to make sure that this permission right here is granted so if you're installing this plugin for the first time it's going to look like this make sure you turn this toggle over to granted that means everyone in the default group is going to be able to see this prefix next to their name and everyone else's names as they type in chat all right so now that i'm over at the snow biome if i type in chat it says snow next to my name and of course if i go over to the forest and type in chat it says forest next to my name i know you guys can barely see that because it's such a dark color if i go over to the desert of course it's going to say desert next to my name and because i'm hanging out just over the grassy knoll if i type in chat while i'm in the plains it's going to say grass next to my name so as you can see biome chat prefix works exactly the way i would expect it to now if the developer of this plugin happens to come across this video there are some things i'd like to see in the future like what if we could have the exact same thing for water treatment plant or launch site or oil rig or anything like that so if somebody happens to be at launch site and they're typing in chat it says 
says next to their name that they're actually at the launch site. Just adds a different dynamic and I think it would be a really great idea. Now as far as setting it all up, the configuration file is broken down into the four different biomes that you would find on a typical Rust server. And you can just go in and deal with each section separately if you want to change the color, if you want to change what it says in the prefix. Instead of it saying forest, you can make it say the trees or whatever it is that you want it to say there. Check out the configuration file. Super easy to navigate around in. Alright, as you guys all know, Permissions Manager is my favorite free permissions management plugin. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos on Permissions Manager, make sure you check out this video on the right hand side right now. Another plugin that I believe doesn't get near enough attention is Better Chat. I've also done a full tutorial on how to make Better Chat work better for your server, so make sure you check out one of those. Huge shout out goes out to my Patreon club. I super appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next Friday.